What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today we've got my 99 overall offensive threat attribute update and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my attributes, my badges, and my animations. To start with the attributes, I'm not going to read all this out but the really important things on this build are my 98 driving layup, 99 driving dunk, 89 three pointer, 87 ball handle, 88 speed with ball, 99 perimeter defense, 95 block, 99 defensive rebound, and then all my physicals are pretty high. Strength isn't the best, but you don't need it too much in this game. But as you can see, on this 6'7 power forward, I have 89 speed, 96 vertical, and 85 acceleration, which is really good for a big man. If you guys take a look at my 2K card, my player is actually a 6'7 power forward, 211 pounds. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe, but let's get right into the badges. So for the badges on this build, I use Posterizer Hall of Fame. I keep it Hall of Fame at all times. And then with my other four finishing badges, I normally use Heat Seeker. Sometimes I'll try out Acrobat or Fearless Finisher because they're just fun little badges to use. And sometimes I'll even put Heat Seeker down to gold and put Putback Boss Bronze just because it's really fun to get putbacks in this game. But since I only have eight finishing badges, I think the best badges are Posterizer Hall of Fame and Heat Seeker Hall of Fame. Now for the shooting, as you can see, my badges are all over the place. I have some badges bronze, some silver, but I'm gonna explain this to you guys right now. So anti-freeze is a really underrated badge. You only need it bronze, no higher. And you want this badge on because when you miss your first shot, your attributes all go down by two, all your offensive attributes. And if you miss two shots in a row, your player will actually get cold and your attributes will go down seven. So you want this badge so you won't lose any attributes. Then I have catch and shoot gold. I would honestly max this badge on any build. I would put it Hall of Fame if I was able to, but gold is the highest I can put it. Corner specialist is also a really good badge. You don't need it any higher than silver. And same with green machine, you don't need it any higher than bronze, but these two badges are really good to have just silver and bronze. Then deep threes, you don't necessarily need this on any build. Like it's not as good as catch and shoot and stop and pop in my opinion, but I would max this if you have the badges. As you can see, I have 18 badges. So if you have 18 badges, or more, I would max out deep threes. Now for stop and pop, you don't necessarily need this, especially on a big man build, but I like this badge because it makes my build a lot more versatile because catch and shoot gives me such a huge boost that before I put this stop and pop badge on, I would only shoot catch and shoot shots. But ever since I put stop and pop on, even if you just put it bronze, you'll get such a big boost. So honestly, I would probably be fine putting this to bronze and putting hotshot gold because hotshot is such a good badge. So it could go either way, but you guys want to have stop and pop on at least bronze. And if you're the primary ball handler on your team, you want to max it 100%. Now going into hotshot, this is also a really good badge. I only have it bronze just because I wanted to max out deep threes and stop and pop. But if you have the badges, you want to put this hall of fame because this badge is amazing. It makes your takeover go up super, super high. And going into the last badge, this is probably the best badge. I think the two best shooting badges here are Hot Zone Hunter and Catch and Shoot. And if you have your Hot Zones, then Hot Zone Hunter is probably the best badge because if you get slightly earlies and slightly lates, the shot has a higher chance of going in if you have your Hot Zones and if you have the Hot Zone Hunter badge. Now going into the playmaking badges, I used to just not have Ankle Breaker on and have Dimer Hall of Fame, but the thing about Dimer is it really works best for people with low three pointers and in this game because there's so much customization for your build, pretty much everyone has a high three so Dimer is not as good as it used to be so I just lowered it to bronze just so I could put Ankle Breaker Gold and Space Creator Hall of Fame. I'm not going to say these are the best playmaking badges because they're probably the worst out of all the ones I have on, but they're really fun to use that's why I have them on. Then Bailout, in past 2Ks you would want this on bronze, but this 2K you actually want it silver, you don't need it any higher than that. And what this does is when you pass out of shots, it makes your pass accuracy a lot better and doesn't have people either bobble the ball or just not catch it at all. Then Bullet Passer Hall of Fame, this is my favorite badge in this game. You want to max this badge on any player you have. Obviously Quick First Step is the best playmaking badge still I would say, but Bullet Passer is a very close second and you want to max this. Because if you don't, your passes will be super slow and the defense can recover, so it'll be pretty hard to get assists even if you pass to somebody who's open. By the time they catch the ball, the defender's going to be able to close out. So you want to max out Bullet Passer, and, and unless you don't have a lot of playmaking badges and you're on a big man, I would max Quick First Step. Then Dimer, I talked about it a little bit before, it's a pretty good badge, not as good as previous 2Ks because nobody really has a low 3. And I'm still experimenting with playmaking badges a little bit, but for now I'm just going to keep Dimer on bronze. Then handles for days, because I'm not the primary ball handler, I didn't max it, but if you are the primary ball handler, you want to max it 100%. Honestly, I could just take Dimer off and put handles for days gold, but I'm just going to keep Dimer on because I like having some badges bronze because they make a huge difference. So handles for days, you probably want to max it on a guard, but I just have it silver. 
Then, like I said before, Space Creator is more of a fun badge. It's really just so I can get more ankle breakers and get past my defender. And then the last playmaking badge I have on is Unpluckable. I don't think it's as good as it was in current gen 2K and in 2K20, but it's still a pretty good badge. And if you have the badges like I do, like I have 24, so that's a lot. If you have the necessary badges, I would max this badge. Last but not least, going into the defensive badges, I have Box on Gold, and the reason I don't have a Hall of Fame is because I feel like Chase Stone Artist Hall of Fame is a lot better than Chase Stone Artist Gold, so I decided to just put Box down a level so I could put Chase Stone Artist Hall of Fame. Then for Chase Stone Artist, this badge is amazing. I would have it at least silver, but if you do have the necessary badge points, I would put it to Hall of Fame. Then the best two defensive badges, I would say, are clamps and rim protector because rim protector makes it so much easier to get blocks especially if your interior defense is low like mine in previous 2k's i would just put rim protector to bronze but because the way defense is in this 2k i would max it if you're able to i think clamps is the best defensive badge a little bit better than rim protector and i would max this 100 percent if you can it's basically a counter to quick first step so people just can't blow by you all the time and now for the last two badges, Intimidator is really good. I would have this at least silver, but if you're able to max it, I would. This is an amazing badge because it helps so that people can't hit crazy shots on you. If you actually get a closeout, it'll count as a contest instead of it being wide open. And last but not least, Rebound Chaser. I kind of slept on this badge in 2K20 and thought Box was a lot better, but I would have Rebound Chaser at least bronze because what it does is if the ball comes near you and you don't have this badge on, you're not going to get an animation where you get a rebound. You guys just going to jump next to the ball and either not get a rebound animation at all or get a bad one and the defender will just grab the rebound over you so i would have this at least bronze but i maxed it because i feel like it's a really good badge for my takeovers i'm able to get slasher sharpshooter lockdown and glass cleaner i really only use sharpshooter and then sometimes when i play twos i'll use lockdown but sharpshooter is definitely the best out of these four and i don't really like to choose two of the same takeover like spot up precision twice so i just decided to do spot up precision and then limitless range takeover if you guys have any questions about my badges or my takeover make sure to leave a comment down below but let's get right into the animations so for my jump shot i already have a video on that if you guys want to see it just make sure to watch till the end of the video and there's going to be an end screen with my jump shot at the end of the video for my free throw i use kobe bryant and i'm not going to say it's the best free throw out there but i have been using this since nba 2k 16 so i've pretty much mastered it for my dribble pull up i use steph curry and for some of the animations on this dribble pull up they're kind of slow but for me they're really easy to time so that's why i have steph curry as my dribble pull up for my spin jumper i have trey young and i'm also not going to say this is the best one because i don't do spin jumpers too much i hardly ever do them at all but this one is pretty nice and it creates a good amount of space for my hop jumper i use steph curry this one is really nice it creates a lot of space and it's also really fast so i would say this is the best hop jumper in the game for my fadeaway, I have fade 3 on, and I would also pretty easily say that this is the best fade in the game. It's been the best fade since 2K18 or 2K19. It's really good, so if you guys don't have a good fade on, I would definitely put fade 3 on. For post hook, I'm just going to skip over that, but I do have post hook 3 on. I don't know if it's the best because I don't do post hooks, but for post hop shots, I think 1 is the best one, but if you don't like 1, you want to try number 7, 8, and 10. Those are the 4 good post hop shots, but I think number 1 is the best. And then for post shimmy fade, I have three on. I don't really do that. And then post shimmy hook, I have one on. I also don't really do that. But getting into the dribble style, I have LeBron James on. I feel like dribble style doesn't matter too much. So I wouldn't say this is the best one because I haven't really tried out the other ones. But this is probably my favorite because it looks the best. For my signature size up, I have Kevin Durant. And this is my favorite because as you can see by the animation, it's kind of like he does hezzies. And after it, you can just drive or you can just run along the three point line or you can even do a crossover. There's just so much you could do out of this size up. So that's why this is my favorite size up. For my basic size up package, I use Pro One. I'm not gonna say this is the best cause I don't really do it too much, but this one is pretty nice. And for the size up escape package, I actually use Pro Three because when you hold R2 and move your right stick down to do an escape, you get a really fast animation and you can shoot super fast out of that animation or you can just drive past your defender. So Pro 3 is my favorite, but if you guys wanna be able to do the curry slide, you guys wanna put Pro 2 on. And personally, I don't like the curry slide. I feel like it's a good move, but the escape package you get is really bad and really slow. So I like Pro 3, but if you guys wanna be able to do the curry slide, make sure to put on Pro 2. 
for my moving crossover i use pro 2 and i would pretty easily say this is the best one in the game it's really nice and smooth but if you are in a full court situation where you're running down the court this crossover even if you do a double crossover or a single it doesn't matter this crossover is pretty good for moving behind the back i would say that pro 3 is the best one in the game and there's another animation i want to say it's pro 2 that's also really good but i think pro 3 is a little bit better and it looks a lot smoother and it's faster for my moving spin i use pro 4 and basic one is also solid it's pretty good especially for a basic spin but i think pro 4 is better just because it's faster for my moving hesitation i use pro 2 and i like this move because it's pretty easy to just get by your defender after doing this move and pro 5 also looks fast but i feel like the animations that you get out of the pro 2 moving hezi are a little bit better so that's why i have this hezi on for my moving step back i used to use pro 8 but the animation you get out of it is a little bit slow so now i do use pro 2 and you can get a pretty fast step back animation out of it so that's why i like it and i feel like it's a lot faster than all the other step backs for triple threat styles this isn't too important but i just feel like normal 7 is the best looking one out of them for my layup package i used to use long athlete but i use circus layup package now i feel like it's a lot more fun to use because the layups look a lot nicer and the hop step animations you get out of it are a lot better like you get the jamal crawford hop step you get a normal hop step that actually looks decent because hop steps in this game at least with the long athlete layup package they kind of nerfed them because last year long athlete was really good because of the hop steps but i think circus layups are a lot more fun to use they look better and the hop step animations are actually decent for my dunks i have six of them three of them are flashy dunks three of them are dunks that don't really get blocked so the ones that don't get blocked are sidearm tomahawks which are easily my favorite dunk package in the game because if you use your right stick to dunk which i do you can choose which hand you dunk with and if you do that it's really hard to get blocked my second favorite is baseline versus off one because if you are driving baseline instead of just taking a normal dunk and getting blocked from behind you could just do a baseline reverse dunk and i don't think i've ever gotten blocked on this dunk package because if the guy is running behind you and you do it at the right time they're not going to catch up to you so this is my second favorite dunk package and my third favorite is straight arm tomahawk this one is nice because it's just a normal dunk and your guy does not cock the ball back to where he would just get blocked and then for my flashy dunks i have clutch reverses off one this one is really smooth you guys have probably seen lebron do these dunks in game then for my next one i have windmill reverses this one is a really fast dunk package it's super flashy and then for the last one i have leaning windmills this is kind of like a donovan mitchell dunk at least that's what it reminds me of for my alley-oop packages i actually don't have the pro or elite alley-oops on i just feel like they're super flashy and they get blocked really easily so i just took them off and instead i just put on the pro and elite contact dunk alley oops i feel like the contact dunks are better than the normal ones because if you go up for a lob and someone's annoying you don't get a contact lob you're probably gonna do it between the legs or something flashy if you have the pro and elite normal alley oops on and you're just gonna get blocked so i just have the contact ones on and then for the normal contact dunks i have these three on pro contact dunks elite contact dunks and small contact dunks Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys want to see my jump shot, make sure to click on the card on the right side of the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's Josh and I'm out. Peace.